Hey, Brazy, with Birdman keeping this word, he popping up to your hood, putting his life in your hands. Of course, he gonna come with his niggas and shit, but you know, letting you run the show. You know, letting you know he respect your gangster and how you move, calling you smart, telling you you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? He, he like your gangster, he respect it. All that shit does gonna have you looking at Jay Prince with the side eye. Yeah, cause Jay Prince, he ain't showed that love. Yeah, he the big homie. He the OG. He gave you a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, he kept his word. All of that. You respect him. But if you gonna compare him to Birdman, then you will look at him funny if you compare him to Birdman. They two different type of guys. Birdman is more hands-on. That's the type of CEO you need. You don't really need no CEO like Jay Prince. You need that CEO that's gonna come and embrace you, pull up to your city, your hood, go to the restaurants, clubs, make you look good. You know, with Jay Prince, he a good nigga, man. He a real nigga, like real OG. And like he ain't did no flaw with you. But you too young, like it ain't that he not a good CEO for you. It just he ain't really for you. He a real nigga and he been that for you, but uh, the type of guy that you is, the type of shit that you need to feed off of. Um, even though his game tight, he game related and all that stuff. Not game, game related. You know what I'm saying? He that. But, like, how can I put it? He the man for the job. He can get it done. He can keep shit running. Okay. He like the Biden. J. Prince, Biden, and Birdman Trump. Birdman Trump. What Trump gonna do? Trump gonna pull up. Trump gonna party with you. He always party with black. Not always, but, you know, it's his back in the kidnap. Back in the kidnap, he was, you know. You seen him out there? He showed his face. You understand? Like, he gonna be more hands-on. You know, put his life in your hands. What I mean by that, like, he in your hood, he in your city. He rolling with you, niggas still can pull up. And he get hit. Yeah, he got a squad, he got his niggas. And they sturdy. And they gonna hold him down. They definitely gonna do that. But, he still trusting you. You know, you showing him around. Letting him see how y'all living. Yeah, everything going smooth. That's what he want. He trusting you. Like you saying, you run this bitch, this your shit. I right, sure, nigga. I'm rolling with you. That's what I mean. That nigga say, I'm rolling with you. So, yeah, that's what it is. Brazy, the type of guy he is. He need that motivation. He need to see shit like that. Jay Prince ain't gonna really do all that though. He ain't gonna do all that though. That's what I'm saying. It's more, it's good for the brain. It's good for his people to see that. He your CEO, he with you. He rolling with you, he pulling up. He pull up at mama house. He pull up at my nigga's house. All that though. You gonna respect him more like. Ain't nothing wrong. Yeah, you can just finish the shit with it. You can keep, you can do both. It's whatever you want. Like, you can do both, but. Why keep slicing the pie that much if you ain't really got to? You can think about that. I'm not saying do that, but you can think about it. Or you can keep slicing the pie because it's rolling good like that. You need both powers. You can't lose. You can't lose. Because, you know, Birdman can tell you something wrong or he don't got all the answers. He can make a mistake. And Jay Prince can be right. His plan can work better. Or whatever he telling you. Or what he telling you. You really need to hear. Birdman ain't going to tell you that at the time because he really ain't thinking about it. But Jay Prince going, he on that. He looking at shit different. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, it just depends. 
I'm just getting your yeah, option. How my fan think, or how you think, or whoever your niggas a thing. Bread ain't gonna make you look like a king in your own city. You understand? So that's good for your ego. You got a certain type of ego. That's good for your ego. I told you though, Birdman, that's where you want to be. Like he gonna take your empire to another level, and you know that. The numbers that you're doing, you're going number two, number three. And you putting up, you got a lot of fans. They fucking with you. Or you're in the algorithm so hard, just doing that. But other than that, like you putting up them numbers. So all you need is them songs. That's all you need. You fucking with Birdman, you a pass for that two times. You a pass. You gotta have that song though. You gotta have that song. So there's something Birdman seeing in you that he really with, that he really respect, that make him come pull up, chop it up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you doing something right. You doing something right. You need that Birdman look and that cosign so you gonna get blackballed. You can talk your shit and you ain't gonna get blackballed. Like niggas still gonna fuck with you. Birdman made the call. Like, you be good on the West Coast. You know, he'll straighten that shit out with Mike 100 and all that duck. He ain't know you, so of course he gonna, based on off your name, he gonna try to clown and shit like that. That shit get straightened out behind the scenes, shoot the fade, whatever. Yeah, but with your music going crazy like how it's going, even if you don't get the club banger, you still killing the YouTube streets. You can heat the street up. So, either way, like, you gotta stay high in the streets. I told you, keep mashing the gas on for dance. Don't let up, keep mashing the gas, keep going live, keep trending, keep dropping music. Stay in the algorithm, like go crazy. That's all you gotta do, just keep mashing that gas. Don't let no brakes. It's all gas, no brakes. You don't get JT shit. You understand? Shit. It's up for you. You out gangster for this. Have him take J Prince Jr. to war. Well, that way, J Prince, if he block you, you got Birdman, so you good. You need that backup. You niggas got backup. You need that backup. You ain't got no backup. Birdman gonna be that backup. Give him that percentage. Whatever. It's, it's a big cut, but nigga, you gonna eat though. You gonna eat. You may gotta give half your plate away. But your half now gonna be bigger, so you good. You good. I see you like jury, so you gonna keep buying jury because I see you like it. You wanna be ice stuff. I'm gonna tell you though, man, like them hit records, it look better than VVS Diamonds. Them hit records, number one on the billboard, them plaques, platinum plaques, gold plaques, it look better than flawless diamonds. It look better, man. Them ticket sales. Them ticket sales look better than a Cuban. The million dollar watches, them ticket sales do. So that's what we focus on, man. Mashing the gas on these niggas, these ticket sales, these album sales, these hit records, these features. All that shit done, man. And it is what it is, though. But it's a good look, man. This be all ears, man. When you around Birdman, be all ears. Should be straight. Now you still gotta stay out of jail and shit. You stay on the streets. See, they could fuck you up. A lot of artists, they went through that shit. They build their buzz up real high. Gucci he used to go through that shit, but he worked so hard. See, you could be going to jail if you gonna work hard, but it fuck up your momentum. You sign up with Bird Man, he building your buzz up. You going crazy, then you go to jail. You did some gangster shit. You see what I'm saying? So, you gotta goddamn make sure you stay steady with that shit. You gotta make sure you, you can have it to you, nigga. You can have good luck with them numbers. You can run that shit up on YouTube and get your hit record, all that shit. 50,000 a verse, you go to jail. You gotta sit down two years, and you gonna write back down. All the other niggas, they gonna pass you. That's all it takes. I'm telling you now, you get to feeling yourself and fuck around Jay Prince and his son. They sold the hate on you. Make a phone call. They know it's a gun in the car. Make a phone call. You get pulled over. Hit with a banger. Start getting
getting all this money with Birdman. You better watch yourself, honey, Cole. Start getting all this money with Birdman. Hit record. Birdman out, shining. J Prince. Far as like with you. You don't answer his phone call all the time no more. Take your time to call him back. Like, all right. We're going to bake that cake for you. For around, sit you down for five years or a couple years or whatever. They can play the police game. You don't think they got the police on their side? It's a good thing you saying, goddamn, you don't want to go back to Texas. It's a good thing. Nigga may got that set up a play, tell a promoter to pay you triple, well, I'm going to say double what you make. So you doing like 30K a show, nigga pay you 60. Coming to Houston, we give you 60 racks. 15 minutes. And then when you come, you get banned with the gun or weed or whatever. And now you got to lay down for six months, a year. All type of shit, man. So, you gotta be easy, move the right way, not the light way. You understand? Like, you can't really trust nobody. You understand that when you outshine the master, being that sign of a bird, man, you outshine the master, the original. He could go left, but you wouldn't even know it went left. Or, he ain't even gonna take it that way, J Prince. It depends on what you be saying. You be saying a little slick shit. So that's why, nigga, that's why I'm saying this with you, because you'll take a little shot at Jay Prince. you apologize, but you'll take a little shot. You'll pop your shit, so that's why I'm saying this to you. So you may not hate, like, you did business with Birdman with Drake and Wayne and shit, so you may not so Jay. But I'm saying your mouth make a nigga do something to you, as far as, like, you know, making that phone call or setting the play up or whatever. So, yeah, I man.